Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. And the only thing I'm gonna say is about mm, I, it was a while. I had wanted to see what um the show Andy Bravo has on Sunday night, sometimes after the Real Housewives of Atlanta air. And I had been wanting to see it and I taped it and forgot all about it. And then something made me think about it again and I went and played it and viewed it. And that was uh, to watch what happens live with Andy Cohen and Portia Williams and Charlemagne the God. Only thing I want to say was, ooh, Portia is a better woman than I am because between Andy shading her every chance he got and Charlemagne really looking at her like gum underneath his shoe. Like, he just totally, or they both treated her, but more so Charlemagne, the punk, treated her just like a dog. Like, she was stupid. She was an idiot. It was a waste of sperm creating her. I mean, he just really put Portia down every chance he got. He just really told her she's beautiful, but she's very thoughtless. And I'm not saying thoughtless like she don't have compassion or anything like that that i'm talking about like she doesn't have a brain like it's a total shell up there there's no membranes there's no brain there's no sensory there's nothing up there but wires trying to spark but nothing's coming out pretty much a dumbass robot pretty on the outside totally shellish on the inside and i just made that word up okay but we're gonna go into some scenes that really had got on my nerves and had got between my nerves that wanted me to just come through the screen and choke the shit out of his ass Pretty much, you know, his whole look that uh, was shown on Andy or what what's, uh, what happens live on Andy's show, the makeup was just too profound. It was just like we saw he had on um, mascara. He looked like he had the underline beneath the eye. Uh, we call it uh, not mascara, but it's the eyeliner. It looked like he had blush on and it looked like he had some makeup over his eye i'm like he straight up looked like a drag queen if not a undercover gay man living as a heterosexual man i mean his whole tendency he's very arrogant uh every time it seemed like porsche wanted to say something he wanted to cut her off and just uh make her seem so stupid looking or something i mean it's just totally crazy it's like oh we can pass her around we can do a train on her this that and the third because she empty minded she ain't nothing but an internet hoe you know just everything that you would think of a thoughtless no brained man that seemed like he mad at the world the creator as well as women too you know if he could just phase us all out as the human race of women he would do so and he would be fine bumping booties with other men okay <sighs> but anyway um the lips the eyes it just everything about him just gave me female tendencies like he really wanted to be a female uh and he definitely shows his arrogancy like a female like a cat you know two women up there fighting for attention and he pretty much won okay but uh anyway frat was there mina phaedra she was in the clubhouse audience rooting her uh bestie on and and it shows clips from sunday episode with portia being in the midst and you know, he uh, was pretty much asking uh, Portia, since Phaedra was doing most of these things, why did you take up for her? Why you just didn't say you weren't in this all along and you didn't get your information from this person you got it from Phaedra or whatever? Uh, since she pretty much was the instigator in all of that. And she's like, uh-uh, if I ride with you, I ride with you. Uh, you know, loyalty is utmost to me. I'm like, Portia, 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 shut up. You don't have anybody else to film with that care for your antics so and you know you look better than phaedra and you pretty much insinuated as well so i'm like go on phaedra i mean go on uh porsche with that mess but i mean the whole thing with just charlemagne sitting next to her he just made her look stupid on all fronts and then andy was saying okay well who was this someone because you never told us uh that said uh, Candace's husband was fooling around or the seven year relationship of a woman you said she was in you know what why you didn't give us those you know pretty much the receipts and she told me I don't have to do it because you know it just is what it is and you know they were saying well um why did you make an accusation that 
Candy had a sex dungeon and you were told or you you, you someone had told you or you said that Candy had a sex dungeon and uh, Todd and Candy wanted to drug you up and take you and Shamil back to their home and do whatever they wanted with you all because y'all wouldn't remember it anyway. And then she said, no, no, that's not what I said. What I said was someone told me. But she wouldn't give up the information of who told her and why they said it. You know what I'm saying? So we can only think that is more so fictitious. But she pretty much cleared that up. Caused her lawsuits and Candy would try to sue her, you know, on that fact. But she did say someone told her. She didn't say, she, you know, it was told to her by Candy and Todd that that's what they were willing to do to her. And of course, you know, she was saying, bring, blame, blame it on the Henny. And, you know, Charlemagne would laugh and too, like, that was just a dumb comment you made, just that and the third. And, you know, he was just really running all bulldozing her down. He's too arrogant. I wish someone would come and shed his shit down. I was waiting for Andy to shade his ass. But just by saying, you know, we already know Andy's out of uh, the closet gay. I always have been. And, you know, he's proud to be one. And that's fine. But him and Charlemagne God, you know, they kind of like, you know what I'm saying? They look too kosher with each other. Like he done dipped in a man's pool and he does it from time to time. Me and Charlemagne. That's just what I'm getting from him. <sighs> but anyway. And then Charlemagne made this comment. Was that, you know, was very empty minded. He was saying, uh, -uh uh, Phaedra need to get back with her husband because he ain't going to be gone for no long stint. Like most people get life to life or. 30 years to life, you know, something like that. He's just going to be gone for eight. That ain't nothing but a, you know, walk in the park. He's going to come back. If you ain't going to take him back, he's going to kill you and your spouse or you and your boyfriend you date. I'm like, no, why would he say that? Why would he even put that type of atmosphere in that, that type of information in the atmosphere for it to take some form of shape? You know what I'm saying? Because we are on that spiritual plane. But we're dealing with spirituality and principalities. You understand what I'm saying? If you don't, get the Bible read it. Okay. Um... He just he was very empty hat and I was waiting for, you know, Andy to throw a flag on that plate that, or that, you know, comment he made. But he didn't he just let it go, let it go, like it wasn't nothing. Like we just, you know, sipping ham and tea and that shit just flies your mouth and it's supposed to be cool. You know, and I'm, I wait for Pedro to get up and say something like, what, what you mean? You know something I don't know? Uh that my husband may kill me if I don't uh get back with him when he come home. You know, I just uh he just made me sick when he said that. Ugh. Let me see. And then he started making a comment about, uh, not Phaedra, but uh, Portia uh, and the other women he was speaking of, too. It just one Portia being thrown under the bus. He was talking about all women, too. If men can have a nice income, and he even just said, well, uh, Portia, you're making more than Todd anyway. I'm like, well, how do you know, Charlemagne? Have you done the math? Have you talked with people in HR that's supposed to be keeping in my clothes? Have you talked to Ricky Smiley? What's going on? Loose lips going around? All y'all in, you know, in a uh, little session together, bumping booties, and y'all telling little stories about the women. Okay. But then when he goes on to say, uh, women should take care of their men. Men been doing all along. Wait, 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 wait a minute now. We can talk about different cultures. Maybe have been taking care of their women or their wives or their girlfriends, but not it doesn't flow that way in the black community as you know as much as we would like to see. So talk what you know, Charlemagne. Don't talk what you don't know. And it seems like you are very uneducated when you're talking that junk that you're talking about. Talking about uh well, women do need to take care of their men. If they make more, they need to take care of more. I'm like, no, a man need to get out there and do the best he can with whatever skills he has developed by living in this world. And if he do come up short and he's been taking care of certain things with his income and it's compatible, but yeah, you may make a little bit more. Yeah, jump in then. But don't arbitrarily out the part. Just go and say a woman's supposed to take care of her man. Uh-uh. I think it needs to be both ways, you nut hole. It's probably why you're not married, don't have a girlfriend, or can't keep one. <clears throat> that just pissed me off when he said that. And of course, Portia didn't say nothing. Portia didn't say nothing. I'm like, Portia, if you're going to be a, uh, be in the midst of these naysayers, these knuckleheads, these bone cave head, non-educated men, 
Oh, they, you know, I he might be educated academically. I don't know. I don't really care. But just how he just speaking out the side of his mouth recklessly, recklessly. You should have shut him down because you can do it with the women all day long. So you need to check a man when he needs to be checked as well. OK, because how he was acting, he was on fem fem feminine mentality anyway. And that was close to being a female. So you should have been easily able to shut him down and don't let that God sh scare you because he ain't nobody God but his own self. Ain't nobody praising him. honey. Ain't nobody praising him. So you definitely need to drop that on his uh, name plate. Because he ain't no God or nobody, but his empty ass cell. And uh, we've got a commercial comeback. Um, he's repping his book or and is trying to rep the book for him. I'm not going to do it because I don't. I suggest nobody buys the book. Because if you're going to buy somebody's book that's just uh, very out there, angrily mad at women in general, flighty, stupid women, as he probably may say, you know, undercover. But, you know, he, he got an outspoken mouth anyway that spews out negativity towards women. So he might say, it. I'm not going to even put the book up there. If you saw Andy Cohen show, then you know what it is. But I tell any free spirit woman that really knows herself, don't don't even waste your coin. Or if you want to just see and, and, uh, and read it and put all that negative hate in your mind and memory banks, go ahead. But then go get a full refund because I'm sure you'll be very disappointed. Once you read it. Okay. So anyway, move from there. And then they start talking about and they wanted to know the scoop on him and Wendy Williams and their breakup. You know, he goes on trying to say something slick out of his mouth, trying to be, you know, female. All females get down like that. Come men, straight up men, they're like, man, it's been not, nine times ten, they wouldn't even be on Andy Cohen's show. But one, not a real, real man. Cause they ain't got time for that hoop law. They ain't got time for that nonsense. And if you know you had a real journalist type of um, interviewer that wanted to get your take on something, then okay, then that's all right. Or you had a journalist that was, you know, probably uh, gay, but they were still being respectful and they were having their more academic skills uh, going on through your interview, then that's okay. You can probably talk and they'll understand where you're coming from without any. Uh, reflections or disrespect going on uh, on both parts, you know what I'm saying? But to sit there and, and talk to Charlemagne about Wendy Williams, I mean, they two are the same, just one of them a woman and one of them is a male, you know what I'm saying? But do they act uh, kosher all the time? <sighs> no. But again, Wendy Williams get paid to talk shit. I mean, she talked shit on her radio show that she had. I don't know if they were at the same, I think they were at the same uh, affiliation radio station and one just outgrew the other or maybe they had creative differences and I, who knows but I know he didn't say too much and if he did it would have got back to William Williams and they probably would have had a brawl out and that's what I really want to see tell some dirt tell some dirt on Charlemagne we don't I want to hear it. I want to hear it I sure do but then I can understand probably where he coming from or who hurt him and that's why he feel he need to hurt the world and other women along his path but he didn't say nothing too much about Wendy so they they don't made a pact that you don't tell my skeletons and I won't go for your bones you know what I'm saying and they just made a pact that way but I think they both on the same team they ride that boss me real hard or they throw up them signs here and there and you know just they talk reckless but like I said Wendy Williams had definitely come out and say this is her bread and butter. This is how she feed her family and live the lifestyle that she wants to live. So if it means throwing celebrities on the, under the bus to get them to give her a reaction, to come on her show, tell their side of what I, that's what she do for a living. Just like most people have their occupational jobs that they went to school up for, like doctors, lawyers, teachers, um, you know, and those types of fields of what I just met him. I just can't think of them at the top of my head. This is what Wendy decided to do. She went into communications. She turned communications into a building brand of just gossiping about celebrities. Not regular everyday folk, but celebrities. And who can do it better? <laughs> so that was that. So I'm like, dang, I wanted that. Just drop some tea on, on whatever. 
Well, between those two, because I know when the Williams would come for his ass, not his throat, not his head, but his ass, okay? But anyway, that is what it is. Um, He was saying also he wouldn't have Trump on his show. And I'm like, baby, that's not your show. That's a Zionist show. Whenever they get tired of you, they would humiliate you, put some tax lien on your ass, make up some fictitious story that you were involved in, and you would be clueless and... uh grip the shreds okay so don't get it twisted that's not your show you're just a host okay making them zucuins money and you will never see half of that maybe not even a fraction okay uh it was some caller had came in and said she loved herself some charlemagne and this that and that and then he uh told her she had poor taste i said what this woman trying to get you a compliment out of her own way of thinking, and you're going to just shut her down like that. See, it wouldn't be me. I'll be like, you know what? Let me. Did he say I had poor taste in saying that he was a nice looking man and I loved him and this, that, and that? Uh, okay, I don't want to talk to him. And let me just give a cool, uh, uh, question to Portia on the spot. That's why I would have shut his ass down. I would have shut his ass down. Like, you ain't it. You ain't it. You ain't even that. Okay. Anyway, we move on from that situation. Uh, they start playing some continental name the continent game with Portia. And I was like, okay, Lord, did they give her some clues? Did they, you know, somebody on the side giving her the correct answers? I, I was just tired of them both making a fool out of Portia tonight on that when it aired. I forgot when it aired, but. It, it was when I was watching it last night, so I'm going to say I was sick of them making a fool out of her ass. Um, uh, and, you know, he promoted to do this to her. And she could have said she can do it. She didn't want to do it. But like I said, I always get money. It's good money and it's bad money. You don't have to choose money all the time. Choose your morality, Portia. Come on, I'm sure your mama is still something in you of that. Okay? Woo! But anyway... Uh, Charlemagne really just took it home with her and just made just draw a call from the time they started the show to the very end and he was having alcohol when he was doing it so that just made him feel even more proud of himself or raking her under the bus scraping her down the uh, lawn for filth and, and all of that Whew, but I was like they played this game of name the continent and I, I was like okay she on her money this time she must got her thoughts together or maybe Portia just playing dumb but she actually is really smart so this was her time to shine you know what I'm saying she got two questions out of probably seven they asked her and I was like girl girl you should have said sidebar can we change the game or something but I'm like Oh, they just make you look stupider than what they make you look on Real Housewives of Atlanta, Portia. And then they, they do their dirt on Dish Nation, too. You just like a little air bubble head. Only person I can give props to that she don't let them make no fool out of her. And you really wouldn't expect that even coming of uh, a lot of forethought and deep thought from the brat you know what i'm saying on certain issues but she surprised the hell out of me because i don't think i thought she was just known in the rap game and that's all she pretty much knew about but mm -mm, girl know about days current events and politics and just very well burst and i was like okay shame on me for thinking one way of her so i, I was very impressed and you know had to give accolades up to the, the brat she know what she doing but they only use portia as a pretty Barbie doll, just a black version. You know what I'm saying? They think she's a dumb blonde and they use her up. And I'm like, when is enough gonna be enough, Portia? When is enough gonna be enough? You need to be in some type of um I don't know, mainstream media where you looking in a better light. Because you don't been on Real Housewives of Atlanta for four seasons and what have you been doing other than just I don't know, I don't know who would even want to host you at one of their events unless it was something dealing with a man and they just want to parade you up and down as a showpiece you know of uh, good looking behind i get tired of saying ass because you know that's what low thought men think about women of your stature they just look at you as a whole uh want to be toyed with want to be fucked with and and that's pretty much it they wouldn't put you where they would take you to a serious uh event that they were going to where it it, it had um, it had to be with, with a person that had deep thought and could handle themselves in more uh high suspicious type uh surroundings. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't take you, Portia. Okay. Oh, I'm saying. 
Oh, then a caller came in and said uh, for Portia, was her and Nene talking? Were they on good terms? And then she had to ask Andy, well, what did Nene say when she was here? I said, that's not what the caller asked you, Portia. Answer questions that people directly ask you. Do you not have a brain when it comes to just women asking you shit that's not coming for you? But anyway, she asked Andy what she said. What did Nene say last time he talked with her? He said, well, no, Nene said y'all weren't talking. She said, okay, well, then we're not talking. Like, girl, girl. Girl. And so, you know, and Charlamagne kept saying throughout the whole show, well, you must have raped her too, because you know, the whole deal was going around that uh Portia had put out the candy was and Todd was gonna rape her at her house and do ungodly things to her because she was gonna be drugged up by them. Okay. And, Sh and Charlemagne just kept putting it out there. Oh, did you rape her too? Did you ain't a rape is a serious offense. That's a very serious assault charge. And we just you know, her arbitrarily saying it just to make a point to prove Candy wrong on some issues or enlighten people what Candy do, you know, off camera, possibly. And then Charlemagne got knowing, you know, I said Charlemagne, not, okay, not, not the God, okay, because he's, you know, he's a deity of his own self. He's worshiping himself, so we know we're not supposed to do that. And I wouldn't do it if I had the privilege of saying it was okay to do it. No, I would not do it with him. But anyway, uh, you know, he just used the rape issue just, you know, real lightly. And that's, you know, we should just put him in jail for 30 days just to prove to him that he shouldn't be just joking with it. It's not a joking matter. So when he's going around saying, did you rape her too? Did you rape her too? Did you rape her too? You know, that's just like saying he don't really believe women can get raped or that, you know, you have to really investigate because some women just want to say they got raped just to say they got raped. I'm like, oh, Lord, have mercy. Mm -mm. No, I'm telling you. If the Lord took him out the face of the earth today, I would not uh, shed one tear because he was just a waste of energy and a waste of uh, manhood, really. I, I'm just, I, I feel for the mother. I really do because I wonder what she thinks about her son going around him, you know, doing what he's doing and saying what he's saying to women in general. Y'all, that was my take, my spiel on recapping on what, watch what happens live on um, Andy's show. I think it was episode 46. Uh, you might have to check me on that one, but I think it was, uh, episode of Watch What Happens Live on Andy Cohen's show, episode 46 with Charlemagne the Punk and, uh, Portia, Portia, oh, Portia <laughs> Williams taking her through, no, it was uh, episode 42, I'm sorry, yeah, not 46, but 42. Uh, that episode they uh, aired with uh, my Portia, my my oh my thoughtless Portia, and Charlemagne the Punk. Okay, hope y'all enjoyed it. Talk with y'all soon. Bye bye.